opening week has finally arrived in Connecticut. For team leaders Jasmine Thomas and Chenea Gumake, opening week not only includes final preparations on the court, but also assisting in last minute appearances to help drive awareness and ticket sales. The two Sun Stars made their way to Hartford to visit with local media, as well as throw out their first pitch at a Hartford Yard Goats game. As veterans in the WNBA, the pair understands the importance of being accommodating and visible in their local market. The last week of training camp also saw the much anticipated return of Sun All-Star forward Jonquel Jones. After missing almost all of training camp due to personal and paperwork issues, but despite being away physically, Jones stayed connected with coaches and her teammates and feels ready and confident about her ability to contribute immediately. There was a lot of things that were out of my control on that end, and so um, it was very reassuring to hear them say, you know, it's gonna be okay. Um, we're here with you every step of the way. Um, things like that go a long way and just, you know, relieving stress off of me um, and, and just helping me to focus on, on other things that I can actually control, like the playbook, um, like my conditioning, you know, putting up shots and different stuff like that. And so um, for them to be behind me like that, it, it meant so much. And I think it just made me more focused in terms of making sure that I was getting into the playbook that they sent me. Obviously, they sent me a digital copy of it. So I just made sure that I was in that, trying to stay on top of everything so that when I did come back, it would be an easier transition um, and it wouldn't be as tough for me. So I definitely tried to keep that up. It feels great. Um, I miss them so much. I'm happy that I made it back before the first game because um, I'm excited just to get this season started off the right way. Um, it's, it's been awesome. I've already had a lot of jokes and laughs with them since I've been here, so I'm looking forward to that for the rest of the season. I feel good. I'm just really excited. Uh, I missed a lot of like the preparation and stuff like that in terms of the preseason, but um, it's awesome to be back here with my sisters. It feels like time flew, and the season last year just ended, so I'm um, just really excited to get it kicked off. I mean, I was just, at first, I was really anxious. I remember I was, I'll call my mom, I'm like, mom, you know, I'm a little anxious, you know, a little nervous because you just don't know. And you know, like every team is different. So before, you know, when you make the team, like they don't call you in. So just knowing that I have to go into this meeting and talk to him, you know, it's either I did or I didn't, you know, it was really nerve wracking, but you know, I went in, it wasn't off the back, like you're on the team, congratulations. It was, you know, this, this, and this. And you know, I'm just like, Okay, yeah, and then when he said, but you know, your congratulations, you made this 12 and roster, I'm just like, yes, like, just all smiles, um, just a, a world of relief, and you know, I just really appreciate the opportunity. I just applied everything that I worked on in the off season, um, just came in, tried to be aggressive on both ends of the floor, keeping in mind, you know, what Kurt had talked to me about coming in and just you know, did everything that I could do to try and make this team. I had my share of, you know, not so great days. And, you know, in those moments, it's like, shoot, like I just want to, you know, do better. I want to be great. But, you know, I didn't allow that to, to keep me down. And when, when I had those moments, I'm like, okay, next day or, you know, next play, whatever it is, I'm, I'm going to do better. I'll be better. And so, you know, I think that, that really helps me, you know, moving along in camp. Just, you know, being back in, in the WNBA, um, playing with these, this great group of girls and just, you know, trying to do everything that I can to, to help us and, and make us better. And, you know, just going out and competing and, and, you know, hopefully having the opportunity to play for a championship and win one. You know, that's, that's our ultimate goal and I just want to be a part of it. The day has finally arrived. The start of a new WNBA season. It brings hope, excitement, anticipation, electricity, emotions of players, coaches, and fans as a new journey together begins. It is actually kind of a dark and drizzly day outside the Mohegan Sun, but inside, nothing but sun, because it is indeed time once again for Connecticut Sun basketball. It is the season opener, the Connecticut Sun and the Las Vegas Aces. This is so special for these women, for the work they put in, not only in the off season, but the preseason, to now have this day finally be here. And it's gonna be interesting to watch, because as we see 
Courtney Williams and a lot of more players that were with the team last year, integral parts of their success. But some new faces we didn't see, like today in the case, the excitement of sitting in some new players, the experience they have, but still so much youth and enthusiasm amongst this group. It's going to be a whole heck of a lot of fun to watch as they grow. This is season number 16 for the Connecticut Sun. Season number 15, Sarah did not begin with high expectations, but the Sun overachieved, and I think it's safe to say the bar this season is set just a little bit higher. In this WNBA season for the Connecticut Sun is underway.